Uh, this is supposed to be an example for the image plane prescription that we do in the hip. This is a uh, an MR arthrogram of the right hip, and we're looking at a coronal image here. There's the contrast in the joint, and this is the normal standard coronal plane. Here's an example of a straight axial plane, which you can see by this prescription line, uh, which is fine. We don't often need just the straight axial on these. Usually what we do is call it an oblique axial, or some people call it oblique sagittal. And you can see, th in this case, the femoral neck is elongated because we're taking an image prescribed off of the coronal long axis of the femoral neck. And this allows us to look at the anterior superior labrum better and also to look at the shape of the femoral head and neck junction. There's a little waviness here, but sometimes we see bumps here that are considered uh, the cause of labral tears. What we don't need, and what was done in this case incorrectly, was this sort of oblique plane, perpendicular to this one. And you can see it's done perpendicular to the long axis of the femoral neck. This really doesn't provide us any information at all. So this should not be done. This should be done. Thanks.